Welcome to the Blinsky Funeral Home, or what used to be the Blinsky Funeral Home. The place has fallen into disrepair, and it is because of this scene that the home is in ruins. In 1918, the nation was gripped with the Spanish flu epidemic, and young Alfred, the funeral director, was in love with making lots of money because of the number of deaths. The problem was young Alfred wasn't in love with the woman that he was supposed to marry. He was set to be married in an arranged marriage to Melissa, but he wanted to be free to marry young Maria, the girl of his dreams. So Alfred did what anyone in his position would do. He poisoned Melissa and his timing was great because her death was blamed on the Spanish flu. As Melissa lay dying in this very room, with her last breath she vowed to haunt young Alfred all of his life. And she pledged to enlist the help of the spirits of the bodies that were related to her in the Blinsky funeral home. As with any good haunted house, at this point you would expect the coffin to pop open so that you're scared out of your mind. <laughs> In prep room. Melissa did when Alfred died. She wanted him to suffer for a long time. As Alfred prepared the corpses for burial, the ghost of Melissa would recruit the recently deceased to join her in torturing Alfred. Many times the haunting would start as soon as Alfred received the fresh warm corpses. Here we see Alfred breaking on two recently dead miners. Dying in the mines is a bad way to go. Look, this man barely has a face left. Ha! You killed Melissa, and now I'm here to help her attract revenge on you! This man over here died when an explosion went off too early and drove a 12 inch drill bit through his stomach. <laughs> you took the easy way out, and I will haunt you for the rest of eternity! Let's leave this room and leave Alfred to his gruesome way. Before they take us next. 